The next one up here is uh, Shantanu, Sean. And I always get it wrong, so uh, to me from now on you'll just be Mr. S. <laughs> the magic Mr. S. I remember in the good old days of Qt3, that was uh, a Qt text editor, I think. Then that didn't work fast enough, then came Qt plain text edit and more fights on getting the text edit fast enough. Seems like history is repeating itself, of course, now we have a... <laughs> soon? Soon. Soon, we'll have a, a lightning talk on QML and large amount of tests. There oh, you are. Man. Give him a hand. Just a moment. You know the things when, ah, stuff works when you test and then it doesn't. So, <laughs> right. Um, so I'll start by talking about what the talk is not about, <laughs> which is uh, large text. Ironically, you'll see a lot of small text uh, in, the, in the demonstration. There's no slides. Um, what we're really talking about is how do you handle large amount of text, because uh, we had a customer project where essentially we were monitoring some log files, for example. And it all started fine. And, and a couple of months down the line, we had a requirement that, you know what, why don't you load the whole thing on disk? Why do I just see the last 1,000 lines? Like, how hard can it be, right? Um, this was a QML application. And we, re we soon realized that it's not as easy as we thought. And then we'll see, essentially, what, uh, what goes wrong when we do that. So very small, very simple app, which doesn't even look like anything when you started. And then I hit a button to load the ch chat history, and so, so to speak, and everything is just stuck. And the reason this is stuck is because it gives me more time to finish the talk, but th because there's nothing really to talk about. So hey, nice. Uh, but then it loads. And if you're wondering what this text is, it's basically, I think, a few years back, uh, uh, IRC logs of a quite a popular Linux distribution, so, and that, that's public. So I thought, nice, nice example to show people. Um, although it takes a few seconds to load, uh, and this is, I think, around 5,000 files of HTML, uh, <clears throat> you might run into problems, for example, browsing through the text. Even though it looks smooth here, sometimes it's not. And then, as a user, you, won't, you don't want to just look at all this, right? But, OK, this doesn't look too big. Let me make it bigger. And then you resize, and oh, shit, what happened? You can't use that word. Yep. Oh, you can? So it's too bad. I mean, my application is also thinking about the same thing. Like, can I, can I even resize? No. If you, in case you're wondering what's happening, the whole thing is stuck. And it's back again. But no matter what, I just can't, can't seem to resize. The problem is text area sucks. So that's basically maybe an alternative tit uh, title for the talk. Uh, it just cannot handle when you, if you throw it a lot, uh, like a lot and a lot of lines of uh, text at it. So obviously, this was not, uh, not ideal. And we just go, went back to the customer asking, do you really want to look at this, this big load of text? And like, yes, we do. And obviously, the, this all works fine in widgets, so we didn't really have an excuse there. So at this point, I remember this uh, quote from, what, what, what did we do? Uh, what did we try? Um, the first thing to try was obviously to profile and see what's going on. And turns out uh, that uh, resizing a text document is not as easy as you think. Uh, what the text area is essentially doing is that every time you try to resize the window, it needs to now figure out that right now you're looking at this, let's say, the 100th line in the document. But now you have resized it. So the 100th line maybe is, goes up because there's more space available and word wrapping is different. So all that really takes a long amount of time, and it, everything just goes bonkers. So the first thing we tried was, OK, uh, maybe we can just try a, uh, try a custom painted item and you know, paint the document ourselves. How hard can it be? Uh, well, it's not too hard, because we have uh, uh, quite a magician called Renato in, our com in KDAB who somehow is very hardworking when it comes to doing fancy stuff like this. And he actually got it working, and, uh, and, and everything was fine. But then we ran, ran into problems, uh, other problems when doing selections and whatnot, and that uh, didn't work out as well. 
The second thing we tried, which started as a joke, which I should stop doing probably, I'm cracking too many jokes on uh, about bad ideas is not a good thing probably, is we can just use WebView because you know what, browsers are really good at handling text, so why not? Uh, so we s just slammed a WebView in there and uh, loaded all the text and it just loads instantly because hey, HTML browsers can just take it in a jiffy like no problem at all. Yeah, that's fine until you realize that the customer's application actually shows 20 of these, for example. So you, just, you don't just have one. You, they're monitoring 20 chat channels or 20 log files. So it, this, yeah, that's having 20 web, uh, web views is not really fun. And your RAM will not thank you for that. So then what did we end up doing is, which what I'm going to demonstrate you now, is Something along the lines of, uh, I, I remember seeing this quote uh, on actually a good friend's Twitter handle today, that uh, you give me a hammer, I'll hammer, it, I'll like, I'll put the nail views in QML. So I, I guess I do something similar with list view. Like you give me a problem, I'll try solving it using list views, and that's essentially what happened here. Uh, like like go away text area, we don't need you. You you are weird and slow for some whatever reason. Uh, what we do is, is essentially create a list view, do some magic in the background, and then I don't even have the button now because it, the whole thing loads immediately, so why, why spend the effort? So yeah, um, um, all the text loads, uh, you can resize, no problem, and list view just takes it uh, in a jiffy. Can someone tell me what the problem might be in this case? What, what I essentially did, uh, oh yeah, I should first tell you uh, a bit, little bit detail on what we are doing now is essentially instead of the whole thing being one f fat text area, every delegate is one text area. So, huh? Scroll bar is wrong, yes. So it's not complete, entirely accurate because you're not taking care of the delegates being, uh, delegates height being uh, different and all that. But the customer did not really have a problem with that because it's like tiny and you can't really tell the difference anyway. And it was not important for him to know, I need to go to the 47th percent of the document. That was not a problem. Yeah, so that was fun because then you tried selecting and like, oh, shit. So at this point, probably we, uh, we should have given up thinking, you know, sometimes like, this view doesn't do everything. But I mean, why not take it a step further? How hard can selection be, right? It's just, just a text. How hard can it be? So then what we do is we do some magic and uh, voila. Uh, OK, and you don't uh, minimize the wrong window. <laughs> and you don't open chat. And ta-da, everything works fine. So you have selection and, and all. Um, yeah, so this is actually what we ended up doing uh, for the customer project. Uh, one, uh, one thing that might be disappointing, because I got one of you ping me on uh, online about this talk when I think over a year back, uh, because COVID keeps on postponing our schedule, is like yeah I think you also wanted editing if I'm not wrong. So this is this was not about editing. All we wanted to uh, do was display text and not be unresponsive. The customer was happy with this. So yeah, all good. Uh, I think the, you had a better solution maybe because you also support editing and whatnot. But yeah, this, this works fine. If you, uh, it looks like we still have time, so I can actually talk about the, the way that works. Uh, I did not really have the time to port over everything that we did in the customer project, because in, a, in the usual thing, you would do, do all of this in C++. But yeah, just for fun, this is completely in QML right now. So you essentially do this. You figure out where the user is scrolling the mouse through the list, through a mouse area on top of the list view and then uh, put the selections in a, essentially the, all the delegates find out what needs to be selected. So at the end, it works out pretty well. So yeah, if the moral of the story is text area is not really fun, and list view rocks. So yep, that's it. <laughs> Thank you.